Hi, well in this video we will focus on the way MyQ prints using the drivers, either locally installed or those shared from your print server. The first thing we have to start with is the MyQ prints pooler. The prints pooler is an application or part of MyQ that receives all the jobs. And before we will jump into the printing queues and options MyQ has for the job release, we have to talk about this one because it's really important and it can grant you some special things. So starting with the prints pooler and what it is. The print pooler is a part of MyQ that receives all the print jobs. It automatically listens on the three main ports. The default one is an LPR, the 515 LPR port, through which MyQ receives all the incoming print jobs. It can also use the IPPS or RAW protocols, but these two must be activated extra. It will not cost you anything more than just the basic license, but you have to activate it extra. Now, how does the printing work and why this pooler is so unique? Now, when it comes to the printing, all the incoming print jobs are going normally directly into these LPR, IPPS or RAW ports on which the server listens. Once the job will be received by any of these ports, it goes directly to the MyQ server when the jobs are analyzed and processed. So we are just checking, you know, how many pages it has, uh, how many copies, if it's color black and white. So we can then modify them and apply some policies, which we will explain later. Once this part is done, the job is then processed and stored to the micro repository. So that's the important part because the job does not stay in the Windows print queue. So in a case something happens with your server, for example, because of some failure, it is switched from one knot of cluster to another knot of cluster. So you've got a failover solution. You are not losing your job because the job is in the job repository. It doesn't stay in the Windows print queue on that very print server. At the same time, if you're using the default LPR printing, you don't need any LPR service installed because MyQ will replace that. It just listens directly on that port and receives all the, all the jobs coming to the system. And of course, now the last part after the job has been stored to its repository, you can just go to any machine and release it using different options. And that's another actually in another part of this presentation when I will show you the options, the MyQ print queues. The MyQ print queues, those are the options and settings through which the system will process the file and then release it. There are actually four different print queues, each behaves slightly different way. An important thing, like I've mentioned before, these queues are not Windows queues. Those are specific MyQ queues and the jobs are stored in the repository of the server. Starting first with the MyQ Direct print. As the name states, this is about releasing the job directly to one machine. So the user using this kind of a queue will not even recognize that MyQ is running in behind because everything works like a standard printing. You send the job, just with a difference that the job goes first to the server where it is analyzed, some rules are applied, and then the job is released without any authentication to the dedicated machine. So like I said, for the user who doesn't know about a thing about the server running behind, it is like he's sending the job to the one machine at his desktop. The difference for you is that you know everything about the job and you can apply some rules if you would like to. The last thing which will happen is that the server will check the counters so everything is properly accounted into reports. The next option, which is also about the direct printing, but slightly different way, is a tandem print. Why I'm saying it's a slightly different way from the direct print? Because this time, this is a printing without authentication, but to multiple machines. Let me explain that how that works. This is a very special situation. So you can imagine, for example, that this is a big print room at the university where they have to print a lot of incoming print jobs and they have to make sure that that large amount of pages is printed in the lowest possible time while somehow utilizing the machines the very same way. So that could not happen that that would be a machine which has printed 10,000 of pages while the other one would print only two. So this is a tool that allows you to do exactly it. It will utilize the machines the right way and you will get the printouts out of the machine in the 
fastest possible way. So how it works. First, it's about the job receiving, which is the same like in the previous case. The job is sent to the server, it's analyzed and stored into the repository. Then the system, before it's released, checks the device counters, the total counters of each individual device attached to this printing queue. As you can see on the right, uh, the counters may differ. So the machine uh, printed less than the others. Like for example, the one in the middle printed only 2,800 pages in total, while the other ones have printed a bit more. Which means that if that machine is the one that printed the least of all, will be the machine that will get the job. There's actually one more condition, and the condition is that the machine must be in idle state. So if all machines are in idle state, and this is the one with the lowest counters, it will be the one that gets the incoming print job. Now this machine is printing, so the next one job is coming and the situation is same like before, but we have only two machines. The one at the top with 4,500 pages and the one at the bottom with 3,550 pages. Logically the one where the lower counters gets the job and if there was a third job and those two weren't still printing, it would go to the last one. Another way of job receiving and job release is a pull print, a standard feature which you would expect from any printing solution. But for those who don't know how that works and how that works in my queue, let me just explain that quickly. So, the beginning is pretty much the same like with any other queue. You are printing to the server, the server analyzes the job and stores it on its repository. Then, You've got multiple machines, all of them attached to that queue, all of them equipped with the embedded terminal or some external hardware terminal to be able to release it. The advantage of the pull print is that as the job is stored on the server, you can go to any machine within the fleet that is attached to the same queue and release the job. So the user can come to any machine which is idle and not used by any other user and release the job there. It doesn't matter which one of them it is. It also has an advantage that if the machine will be broken, the user can just simply switch to another machine and release it there, so he doesn't have to worry that the job is lost. The job pretty much follows the user uh, and is available on every single machine after you click on a print all or print button. The last queue uh, available in system is the MyQ Delegate Print. Now if you look at this queue, and as you can see, the presentation is pretty fast. The reason is that the behavior of this queue is pretty much identical to the pull print. So, what is the difference, you may ask? The difference is that if you are using this special queue, somebody else may release my jobs. Which means, let's say uh, we have sent some jobs to the server, and now you can see two examples. A print queue of a user and the print queue of his delegate. A delegate is a person who this user or administrator assigned as a person who should be able to release a job of my user. Which also means that when we look at the queue, and of course also after the login on the machine, you will see that the user himself we will see his own jobs in the queue and that way is able to release them. At the same time, the delegate can see his own jobs, but also the jobs of the user. And when it comes to the release, it doesn't matter which one of them will decide to release them, but the one that releases the jobs is the one under which the job is accounted. So, that's pretty much everything about the printing using drivers and the MyQ printing queues. So, let's focus on another video from this course, which will be about a driverless print and mobility.